What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a website in 10 minutes or less using this simple drag and drop method. So, my name is Dale McManus from Create a Pro Website, and I'm gonna show you how to do this in five simple steps. So if you're ready, let's get started. So first, we're gonna need a domain name and a hosting plan. Just click on the link below this video, and that will take you to a special page on HostGator.com made for my viewers here at Create a Pro Website, where you can get a huge discount on your hosting. So all we're gonna do is just go down, and we're just gonna choose the Hatchling plan. So just click on Buy Now, and then we're just gonna search for our domain name. So I'm gonna enter in my domain name that I want, which is 10minutewebsite.com. Very appropriate for this tutorial. And look at that, it's available, that's awesome. And what I wanna do is go down and make sure that domain privacy protection is checked, which it is. Next, we're just gonna go down and make sure our hosting plan is all good. So yes, we want our hatchling plan. We're at 36 months, so if you want, you're buying your domain name for a year, I recommend getting the 12 months to match that so that you have your hosting and your domain name both for a year. Or if you want, you can just do the one month and try it out, see if you like it. So we're gonna type in a username and then a PIN number and then just go down and enter in your billing info. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, and then just scroll down and we're gonna make sure that the free SSL certificate is checked. And then I will just uncheck, protect your site from hackers as well as back up your hard work, make sure to get professional emails unchecked. I have videos explaining how to do some of this stuff for free, so you don't need to include it in your package. So we're just gonna go down and make sure that that coupon code says create a pro website. And this coupon code is also my affiliate link, so I do get a little bit of commission off of this, which is awesome because it allows me to continue making these tutorials for free, and it also gets you a discount. So it's a win-win situation for both. So we're gonna go down, and if you chose the 12 months or the 36 months, this will be an even bigger discount. I think it goes up to about 60%. So once this all looks good, we're just gonna agree to the terms and then click check out now. Cool, so that'll take you to this page and HostGator is just setting up your account. And from here, we're gonna move on to step number two, which is install WordPress. And WordPress is just a free online software that we're gonna to use to design our website. So to get it, just go on over to Marketplace over here on the left and click that. And then from here, just scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see this one-click installs. Just click on that box. And then we'll just click on Site Builder and we'll click on WordPress. And then from here, you just select the domain name. So just select that there and then leave this as directory and just click next. And then give your blog a title, so we'll say 10 minute website. And then admin user, I'll just use my name. And then first name, last name, and then email. And then just agree to the terms of service and then click install. Awesome, so now WordPress is installed and what we're gonna do first is just copy this information right here and just paste that wherever you put notes on your computer because we're gonna need that ridiculously long password there to log into WordPress and don't worry, we're gonna change it. So now if we were to click on login, that will take us to this page. And you're brought to this page because HostGator has to send out your new domain name to every server in the world. All right, so we're back. So let's check on our website. All we want to do is just type in our website name. So mine was 10minutewebsite.com and just check to see if it's working, which it is, that's awesome. So now we just need to log into WordPress. And instead of doing admin login here, we're gonna log in a different way because this page and this button are gonna be gone soon once you publish your website. So all you gotta do is go up to your domain name and hit forward slash WP dash admin and then this will take you to where you can log in. So my username was my name, and then my password was that ridiculously long password that I told you to save. Just paste that in there and then click login. And here we are in our WordPress dashboard. So let's just clean up the dashboard a bit. So just hit X on everything that you see. There we go, looks a lot less daunting. So now just go over to users and then go to all users and then click on your name. 
and then scroll all the way to the bottom and we're gonna change that password. So just click generate password, delete that one, and then write in your new password. And then just click on update profile. Cool, so next we're gonna add a new theme. And the theme that we're gonna be using is called Ocean WP. So to get Ocean WP, just go over to appearance and then go to themes. And then just scroll down and click on add new theme. And then we're just gonna search new themes and type in Ocean WP. And here it is, so we're just going to click on install. And then click on activate. So we're gonna move on to step number four, which is to install plugins. And these plugins are gonna help us customize our entire home page. So we're just gonna go back to our dashboard and then we're gonna go down to plugins and then go to add new. And then we're just gonna go to search plugins and type in Elementor and you'll see Elementor page builder. Just click install now and then click activate. Cool. And then we're just gonna type in ocean extra and then just click on install now and then activate. Ocean Extra just adds a few cool features to your Ocean WP theme. Okay, so step number five is to customize your website. So to do this, we're just gonna create a new home page. So just go up to Pages, and then go to Add New. And then we're just gonna title it Home Page. And under Content Layout, just click on 100% Full Width. And then under Title, over here on the left, just click on that, and then go to Display Page Title, and we're just going to disable that. And then last but not least, we're gonna go over to Page Attributes, go to Default Template, and change that to Elementor Full Width. And then now we're just going to click Edit with Elementor. Cool, so this is the Elementor Page Builder, but what we're gonna do in this tutorial is go over to this gray button here, which is Add Template. And from here, Elementor has a bunch of template pages that you can select and you can select ones that do not have this little purple symbol here that says pro, but there are plenty of free options available here. I'm gonna go with this one. So all you have to do is click on it and then it'll show you what it will look like when it's actually on your website. So this looks pretty good, so all you gotta do is click on insert and you've just imported it to this page. So if you just click on that little button, that menu will go away and you can see what this website now looks like. So, if you want to edit any part of this menu, all you have to do is just click on whatever widget it is. So if you want to replace this logo, just select this little pen tool, or what you can do is right click inside the uh, widget, and then just select edit image. And then you can replace that image here. So we're gonna go down, and if you want to change this text, just select that little pen button, we'll just say got it, and you can change this to whatever you want. So I could just change it to our desserts and it just updates right there, which is really cool. And what you can also do is go to Style, and you can change the color of this to whichever you'd like. And if you hit Control Z, you can undo anything. So you can also go to Typography, and you can change this to any font that you wanna change it to, and you can also change the size and play with all of this other text settings. And you can do that for paragraphs, pretty much any text that you see on here and we'll keep going down and from here I'll show you how to change this button so if you just go to this little button widget and select that little pen you can change where the button goes with the link option here so just put in a URL there and you can change the text so we'll just say more desserts and it updates right there on the screen and if you go to style you can change how the button looks and acts or what you can do is just go back to the add template button and then just go over to blocks. And from here, you can select any block of widgets and edit them the exact same way. So what we're gonna do is go all the way down and I'm just gonna grab this one for say a footer. So I'll just look at it, make sure it looks good. It's got some social symbols. We can edit all this information. So I'll just click on insert. And now we have a footer that we can add all of our information to. So now I'm gonna show you how to edit your header and add buttons to it that go to different pages on your website. So just go down to the update button and just click that, which will save our work. And then just go up to this little uh, three lines here that kind of looks like a hamburger. And we'll click on that and just go to view page. 
Cool, so our header looks pretty blank right now, so let's fix that. So just go up to the Customize tab and click on that. And then just go down to Header and select that. And then if you want to change this 10 minute website thing to your logo, just select logo. Just select the select logo button. And if you want to change the size, just go over to max width and you can just kind of drag this wherever you want it. So maybe I want it a little bit smaller like that. Pretty quick and simple. So now let's add some buttons on our header that go to different pages on our website. So just go to the little back arrow, then go back one more time and then just go down to menus and then just do create new menu and we're just going to give it a name we'll just say this is the primary menu and then we want this to be in the main location so that is this bar right here this place content here is actually your top bar and we can actually get rid of that cool so now just go down to next and then just click on add items from here what we can do is just create a new page here so let's say that we want an about page let's just spell it right about Click on add and we'll say that we want to do a contact page. Click on add. Maybe we want to do services as well. Click on add and then they all show up right over here and you can reorder all these by just clicking and dragging them down. So if we just go down to hide controls you can now see we've got all of our buttons here which will uh, link to different pages. So if you go back to the dashboard and you go to pages, you can edit all of those pages with Elementor as well. So lastly, let's just get rid of this top bar here. So let's just go back to our controls with this little blue arrow button here. And we'll just go back one, back again, and then go to top bar, go to general, and we're just going to uncheck enable top bar. Now, last but not least, we want to tell WordPress that we want this page that we named homepage to be identified as our homepage. So I'll show you what I mean. So just go to the back arrow and then just go down to homepage settings. And then we're just going to say a static page. And then from homepage, we're just going to hit select and then select our homepage. And then finally, just click publish. So there you have it guys. So in case you didn't follow along and you want to get started now, just click on that link below in the description to take you to HostGator to get your domain and hosting plan. And if you want more in-depth tutorials or design tips or just general tips and tricks for how to make really awesome websites, consider subscribing to my channel because rumor has it for every new subscriber that I get, a newborn baby finds a cozy basket to sleep in. So that's it. I will see you guys on the next video.